Here are three ways I keep my sink smelling clean. First up is the hot water and soap flush. After giving my sink a rinse, I put the stopper in and fill it up with soap and water. I then remove the stopper to send a steady stream of water and soap down the drain. Next up is the baking soda and vinegar fizzle. I let one cup of baking soda sit down the drain for about 10 minutes and then add two cups of vinegar and let that sit for about 10 minutes. I then give it a good rinse. And lastly is the lemon and ice cube grind. I slice a half a lemon into smaller pieces and put that down the drain along with some ice. I put on the disposal and let it all grind up to release that nice fresh lemony smell. Wipe down the sink and you're good for a week. To be continued. This might be the worst our kitchen has ever looked since we moved in. I'm gonna give you a close up. I'm not, I'm just showing this to show you that like we all get like this, okay? It's really bad, but now it's clean. This was like, after I did the dishes, I got some groceries from Aldi. I hung up that bulletin board. It looks so good there, like it's supposed to be there. We've been meaning to do that for a while. So next up, we're gonna tackle this freaking giant microwave, okay? It's too big for this space. But we got it for free and so we have this little one in the basement that one could eat the little one this is what it looks like i'm so bad at voiceovers there's so much more space i'm so happy ah <sighs> it's clean i lit a candle it's amazing so yeah just proud of myself and sharing it so that if your kitchen is a disaster too you're not a bad person we're all sewer trolls you got this i love you you can do
Sunday reset. My husband and I really honor the Sabbath, so we do not clean on Saturdays. So the house always gets messy. My son's birthday was on Friday, so we had a bunch of people over and a bunch of kids. So you already see where this is going. This house is an absolute wreck, but we're going to take care of that. So let's get into it. You will not find my kitchen dirty before I go to bed at all. That is my absolute biggest pet peeve. I will scrub my kitchen down before I go to bed every single night. The whole rest of my house can be an absolute disaster, but my kitchen is going to be clean. Let me know if that's how you are. I rotate these dishes probably like 40 times a day, and I don't even know where these dishes come from. Also, do you see all that trash in my sink? Who put that there and why? I swear, I'm the only one that will scrub the sink down and I don't care. I will not have a dirty sink. I will not have dirty, I will not have dirty countertops. My whole house is a disaster. And while I was cleaning, my child took some red Gatorade and dumped it all over the carpet in the playroom. There will be a part two. Let me know if you enjoy these. Bye. What it's like being a stay at home parent. I never thought I would share this, but motherhood the second time around has been kicking my butt. I'm not sure if it's harder or that I am much more self-aware of my actions, reading and learning and trying to understand my kids. When I had my first, I was 23 and very naive, and my parenting habits were much more closer to the way my parents parented me. Of course, we all try our best, and one day if my kids choose to have their kids, they will be better than me. It's really hard not to feel judged when our toddlers have big emotions, but they are also learning to navigate this big world. And I feel it's my job as a mom to help him navigate it. But societal pressure to have perfect kids who don't throw tantrums can weigh very heavily. And I firmly believe that a lot of us parents act on that embarrassment. 